So my name is Megan and I work as a marine geophysicist for Wessex Archaeology. So what that means is I use geophysical data to look for archaeology both on and below the seabed. So this can be things such as shipwrecks and plane wrecks, but it can also include entire landscapes that might have once been home to humans many thousands of years ago during periods of lower sea level. I've been working at Wessex now for about five years, but I didn't always know that I wanted to be a marine geophysicist. In fact, up until university, I had no idea that such a career even existed. But what I've always enjoyed is nature and the natural environment. So after school, I chose A-levels that sort of fitted into that. So I did environmental sciences and geography. I really enjoyed those. So when I went to university, I studied environmental sciences at the University of East Anglia. As part of my degree, I got to do a year in industry. So for that, I went to Mexico and worked at a volcano observatory for a year. That was the first time I got to experience geophysics in the workplace, as we were using volcano seismicity to predict volcanic activity. So essentially seeing whether the sounds a volcano makes could help us, help us predict an eruption. I was really lucky to have the opportunity to experience a workplace, and I think it really helped me find a job straight after graduation. So after I graduated, I got a job working offshore for a big survey company. Uh, so I was still working in marine geophysics, similar to the job I do now, but instead of looking for archaeology, I was looking for geohazards. So this is things such as pockets of shallow gas or fault lines that can cause an issue during any uh, subsea construction. It was an exciting job working at sea. It could be hard. I could be on a boat for months at a time. Uh, but it also gave me the opportunity to see different parts of the world that I might not have had the opportunity to see otherwise. So I worked offshore Trinidad and Myanmar and Western Sahara, but I also spent most of my time in the North Sea on a boat. Um, after five years of working offshore, I was ready for a land-based job, uh, but I didn't know what job I could get with the skills that I'd learned offshore. And that's when I discovered Wessex. So working at Wessex has given me the opportunity to use some of the soft skills I learned, such as teamwork and uh, organisational skills, as well as my scientific skill set, and use it in a different way. So even though I didn't know that I wanted to work in archaeology or work as a marine geophysicist, through following my interests and my passions, I've managed to find a job that I find exciting and I still enjoy today. I think the main thing that I want to say is that it's okay to not know what you want to do. And if you find yourself going down a career path that you're not interested in, then remember that you're never trapped. The best thing is just to follow an interest because you never know where you might end up.